Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Beauty News with Angela Cruz. I'm happy to have you here today for my first ever monthly favorites. I've never participated in this type of video before. I've watched them for years on YouTube, and I finally decided, you know what? I'm gonna share my December favorites. Let's start with the Naked Smoky palette. I've used this for one look before on a video. I'll link to it below. This is just one of those palettes that it's a winner all the way around. I tend to use it more for the matte colors than the shimmers, just because that's my personal preference. I feel like it's slightly more professional, especially for a daytime nine to five job. You can mix and match these colors and they're really blendable. Anything from Urban Decay in the eyeshadows is gonna be really good. Now to another product you've also seen me feature in a previous video of mine. I've used the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. It's just the most light, creamy press powder I've ever used. I've been extremely impressed with it. I haven't taken it with me to work or anything like that for touch-ups. I just use it in the morning after I put on my Bare Minerals foundation and concealer, then I'll put this product on and it just kind of sets everything, keeps me from getting as shiny. Speaking of shiny, but this time you actually want it in the highlighted parts of your face. Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed is amazing. This is just a little trial size because I had it from their Radiant Glow collection, but this is in Moonstone and I'm telling you, this color is just so, so pigmented and so pretty. Like you can just put it on the high planes of your face and it will just give you that shimmer and glow. Just so natural, Kim Kardashian, love, love. Getting into eyeliners, I wanna tell you about my favorite for every day. It's the Rimmel Waterproof Eye Definer. And I love it because it's a nice charcoal gray. This color is 264 Earl Gray. And let me show you what it looks like. It's a dark gray, but it's not so gray that it's black. This has been the best eye pencil to put on my lower lash line because I tend to have an oily face, so my underliner melts. Even like Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide-On Pencil, it's going to melt. But this stays put, it doesn't budge, it's less of something that I have to wipe off with a Q-tip midday, so I really love this product and it's affordable. It also has a little sponge tip if you want to smudge it, I never do that because my liner smudges on its own. Revlon's Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick is a really good no-budge lip color. I have this in the shade Perfect Peony. One thing I've also discovered with this is that if you put it on your bare cheeks and like let's say you're traveling, you don't pack a blush, put this in, put it on your cheeks and it makes an amazing like gel cream to powder finished blush that's extremely natural. This color is like one of those one and done products to throw in your purse. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up with a couple of hair products. Let's start by talking about the Shake It Then Get Fresh Herbal Essences Dry Shampoo, Color Me Happy. I have been loving this luscious rose scent. When I first tried it, I was used to the Batiste or the Suave dry shampoo and I would have like none of the white residue on my roots so I was like okay this is not working because without that white residue on my scalp I felt like oh gosh it's not going to absorb the oil but it completely does it's just it's like a clear mist that goes on your roots let it sit for five to ten minutes and then massage it in it does just as well as any of the other products and of course herbal essences products always smell really great Last but not least, I am gonna wrap it up with another hair product. This is the Blow Dry at Quick Dry Primer Spray by L'Oreal, and it cuts dry time and it also gives you heat protection. Let me tell you, this really does work. I feel like it's shaved a little bit of time off of my hair care routine, and the best part is that it is a heat protectant. So one of the other things I found with heat protectants, I think it makes my hair kind of weighed down and oily. This leaves my hair still lightweight and voluminous, and I don't even have to put in like a serum to give it that shine. This gives it all. I I can't say enough good things about this particular product. I hope you all like this video of my monthly favorites. I was super excited to bring it to you and I'm like, why did I wait so long to do one of these videos? Because I use so many products on a daily basis. Along the way, I pick up some that I love and then I wanna share with you because maybe you'll love them too. My 2016 New Year's resolution has been to come out with two new YouTube videos every week. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos coming out soon. Thanks for tuning in for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.